So let's check what we just learned. I just want you to answer this part up here. Which alters flow more? Doubling the length of a tube or having, cutting in half is what this is, the lumen of the tube and why? So what this is asking is which one is gonna change resistance more? Um, so this one is gonna have a much larger impact on resistance than doubling the length of the tube is. And um, a lower resistance is going to increase flow. I want you to say this in your own words. And I'm gonna show you with this example here with these numbers. So here's doubling the length of a tube. Let's say you go from one centimeter, here's my tube, one centimeter to two centimeters. I'm not drawing this to scale right now. So the tube is longer. The resistance here is one, flow is one. These are just kind of numbers we have here. Um, if you increase the length of the tube to two, we are going to have a change that's eight times, so remember that equation, you don't need to know this number, but eight was what we multiplied length by on that numerator. Eight times one and then eight times two. So we're, we're doubling, all we're doing is doubling resistance by doubling the length of the tube. Um, this went from, that one number went from eight to 16, it doubled. So resistance here would be like two in these units. Um, and that would decrease flow by kind of a factor of this, that same factor, cut it in half. If we have the lumen diameter, so we've got this tube here. I am not a three-dimensional drawer. And we make it smaller, about half as small. I think I need to go this way. I can't draw. Um, if we go two centimeters to one centimeter, this should be the same length, not changing length. This is lumen. How does that change our resistance value? Just by what? Well, it was two to the fourth. Now it's one to the fourth on that um, denominator. This is one. This is a four times four, right? 64. I think I'm right about that. Wait, four times four is not 64. It's 16. Two times two times two times two is 16. This is 16 times more resistance. So basically here we're um, doubling resistance. Here we are 16 times in resistance. And this is just an example of how much more it is. You don't need to know that equation, um, but this you can really see it changing diameter of your vessel dramatically changes flow. This, this is going to increase flow as well if you increase that resistance. Yeah. Okay, hope that's clear. So this matters because we care about blood flow. Here is a schematic of blood throw, blood throw throughout circulation. And I'm going to give some labels to things, some of which you know, and some of which you don't as much. Um, what is the name for this output here? And the output in a minute. Cardiac output, the amount of blood that's pumped out in one minute. That's going to determine our, I'm just going to call it mean pressure. We'll come back to what I mean by mean <clears throat> blood pressure. We'll come back to that calculation later. Um, so the heart is generating this pressure that is then flowing throughout circulation. And it would stay the same, but it's not going to. We've got um, a length happening here, and we've got resistance of the vessels. So this term here is um, systemic vascular resistance. The resistance in the systemic circuit due to the 
fast the, the vessels. It's also called total peripheral resistance. You'll see that some places that also makes sense to call it that. It's the resistance um, that the blood encounters throughout the entire circulation. Um, so let's do, just stick with that. We'll look at the relationship between pressure and cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance um, as we go. Actually, let's just let's do it now. So flow is cardiac output. It's gonna be equal to pressure over resistance. There is a pressure at the end here, we're gonna call it zero for now. So, cause it should be actually change in pressure, right? This is our Ohm's law. If we solve for pressure, rearrange this, we're going to get, we we'll multiply both this by both sides, cardiac output times SVR. So we will use this equation, um, mean pressure equals cardiac output times systemic vascular resistance as an important um, thing that regulates flow. So overall things that regulate blood flow, cardiac output, um, Resistance is all those things that affect resistance. So volume, I'm sorry, viscosity, length, and diameter, volume of the blood. And the last one is really related to resistance. Your book talks about it, um, not, not really clearly, is compliance. So that's related to the resistance that your blood vessels exert on the blood. Compliance is the ability to like stretch or resist um, things going through something. So like a, a metal tube is not compliant. A balloon is very compliant. Um, so we'll, we'll look briefly at compliance. Veins are very compliant because they're very um, floppy. Okay. That's what I have for this 